Okay, before we get into it, I thought I would show you the fit. Mm. All right. Are you ready for a little Lex Talk fashion? Let's spill the tea. <laughs> I can't believe it because I added a jacket because I was cold. Siri told me that it was going to be a warm, not warm, that's a lie. She said it was going to be sunny. And the today will be 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Compared to yesterday, it was 80. So 68 sounds nice, but after yesterday, it's cold and very windy. And she didn't tell me it was gonna be super windy. She also said it was gonna be really sunny and there are some like really dark, scary looking clouds out there. I haven't seen the sun once today. Ridiculous, honestly. Also rude, I didn't ask you to just now. Anyway, what were we talking about? Lex talk fashion, okay. <laughs> So today I wanted to talk about uh, five takeaways that we can see or what we can take away from the fashion weeks in Milan, in Paris, in where else? I Probably New York, all those places. All right. Mm. I got my matcha, so let's spill the tea. The first one I want to talk about is, uh, let me go through all of them and then, yeah, actually no, I'll just... I'll just tell you each in order. So the first one I wanna talk about that I thought was really interesting um, and made me very excited was that everything or things that are embellished, that's what's gonna be in style, which is very exciting to me because if you know anything about me, I love, love, love anything that is embellished. Beading, rhinestones, sequins, glitter is okay. I like glitter. But um, as makeup, if it's got to be shiny, I want it to be, if I really want it to be like rhinestones, beading is fine, pearls fine, but if it could be rhinestones, absolutely let it be rhinestones. Mm! Oh, and that reminds me, I'm going away next month, November with my sister, but I'm not telling you where yet. But that's not the point. The point is I got a bunch of rhinestones because it's that kind of place. Anyway, what were we talking about? So embellishment. So think bags that are embellished, um, jackets, jeans, shoes. So embellishments, we love, love. I'm so excited about it. So this, by the way, all these fashion fashion shows were are for the future, they're for the spring. So these are what they're hoping will be what's in vogue in the spring. So the first one, embellishments. Cheers to that. <laughs> she wants to be in the video. This is her tail. Oh, can you even see her? Hi, come here, up, up, come here, up. There she is, you see her? I told you she was here, hi. Hi, baby. You like matcha? That tracks. Anyway, all right, so the second one is not very surprising considering it's for spring, but they tried to like word it in a way that's like, oh, it's so neat. Um, and they basically called it candy coated pastels. So Shocking, pastels for spring. I know, I was just as shocked as you are. But honestly, it, that's, it, that's perfect for spring, you know? Like, that's the colors, you know? The flowers are coming up, Easter, the dead are rising, you know, pastels, eggs, bunnies. It works, and you know, just a random snow, just to kind of kill everything and then they come back to life. Like I said, rising of the dead. It's good times, good times. Mm -hmm. So pastels, um, which is fine. I don't think I have anything that's pastel. White, sure. Blush, definitely. I'm looking in my, I'm looking in my closet right now. No, no, I have nudes. No. 
I don't have anything that's pastel. It's fine. You know what I really do need though? A white pair of shoes. I have white embellished shoes, which does go with the first thing, but I would love to have some white Louboutins just once in my life. Nude probably actually, or black. Hmm. I don't have Louboutins. I'm fantasizing. Can you tell? Anyway, anyway, the next thing. So we got, we have embellishments. We have pastels for spring. And then we have, what was the next thing they were talking about? Oh, something I'm not surprised at all. And something that I've been seeing for a few years now, but I'm actually kind of excited about it because I have been doing it for a while. Um, and that would be kind of like lingerie wear, but like out. So like slip dresses, negligees that are dresses that look like negligees basically, which is what they call a slip dress. Uh, little bralettes that you would wear like under a jacket or with some jeans, which I've done. Uh, I've worn, I've worn my little bralette with denim. I've worn it with uh, jackets. I've worn it with my cute little denim jumpsuit. Oh my God, that was, I love that look. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely super cute. Love the whole lingerie as outerwear. And I, I'm gonna say this, I think the reason that's becoming popular, aside from the fact that everyone is losing weight on like Ozempec and Wegovy or whatever they are, <laughs> and people are feeling a little more, you know, um, which is also exciting because I love the va va voom. You know, it's so hard that people get like super offended by cleavage, and I don't understand it. So this is a fun excuse that. Mm, it can come back into vogue. I love it. Um, but it also plays into the lace theme that I thought was going to come into uh, for fall. But I guess, you know, it's just going to play into furthering into the spring, which makes sense. Because when I think of lace, I don't necessarily think black lace. I think of like white lace and nude lace, that kind of thing. So that's going to be super, super pretty. Uh, but I think the reason why it's also come into vogue is because of companies like uh, the shapewear companies that also have like shapewear built into their clothing. And so that sort of thing. But also something I've been doing once again, <laughs> I'm such a brat, something I've been doing that I do see is becoming, excuse me. I had a lot of kiwis. That is becoming more popular is uh, bodysuits. And in that vein, I've seen a lot of shapewear bodysuits. I don't have any yet. I did order some. I'm hoping they're going to arrive tomorrow. But shapewear bodysuits, um, shapewear in general, and then like wearing that out, like the idea of like the corsets, right? Um, which I was talking about for fall, but I guess I was just ahead of myself, go figure. So that whole lingerie sort of look, but as outerwear, I'm very excited. That's gonna be fun because it's about time we're allowed to be sexy without being treated nastily about it, for it, you know. Sorry, I just wanted to show you what the next, the next, the last two are gonna be. The next one, suede. I know, I thought that was interesting. But then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, okay, maybe that actually makes sense. Wearing suede. So, and the reason why I thought that was because suede, I'm wearing all black, but suede doesn't have to be black. I mean, how cute would it be to have these boots in like a blush <gasps> or a Tiffany blue. Oh my God. A Tiffany blue suede crop jacket with a yellow, like a soft pastel yellow dress <gasps> and white Louboutins. Mm, that would be so cute. Oh, I love it. Or, you know, those rhinestone, the rhinestone Louboutins. 
where it's like see-through with the mesh. Mm. That would be so cute. You need pink though. Maybe a blush dress with the Tiffany blue suede jacket. Mm-hmm. And the crop jacket doesn't have a zipper. It's just got a big embellished button down there. Oh my God, that would be so cute. And the button is like a flower, like my red outfit from Zara. Oh my God, that would be so cute. I would love that. I would wear that in a heartbeat. Yes. Okay. And so that's this. So what do we have so far? We have embellished, embellished details, accessories, right? So jackets, embellished purses, embellished shoes, embellished belts, <laughs> um, embellished, did I say purses already? Shoes, belts, bags, jackets, just embellishment jeans oh my god yes um and then after that was the pastels springtime i know shocking and then it was lingerie being worn as outerwear which i love and oh my gosh i'm blanking oh the suede and then the last one are you ready something I've been already doing. <laughs> a statement necklace. I know, how simple. It didn't necessarily say like, a, I wanna call it a collar, a choker. Um, but I think that chokers are great because you can, cause it's always one length and it can pretty much be seen and worn with any outfit except for maybe a turtleneck, but that kind of goes with anything unless you pull it out. Um, but I've also got this statement necklace that I've had, been wearing for five years because sister gave it to me and I haven't taken it off. So it's not a bold statement necklace. I wouldn't call this a statement necklace really. I mean, it's just a necklace that I wear every day. This, that's a statement. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so yeah, five takeaways from all the fashion weeks that we've seen, New York, Milan, Paris, all of that jazz. And uh, yeah, that was fun. It was really neat. And some of it was surprising. And uh, some of it also wasn't pastels. And <laughs> yeah. So what are you hoping to see for the spring? What do you think you're going to be wearing this spring? Some people only wear black no matter what time of year it is, but some people wear colors depending on the season. And I am definitely one of those people, despite not having any pastels. But I lied. I have a lot of blush pink. That's as many pastels as all the pastels I have is mostly just blush pink. <laughs> or like a camel color. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> what are you hoping... What are you hoping will come into season for spring 2025? Um, another thing I noticed that I wasn't gonna, I'm, not, I'm just gonna like a little add on. Um, there was like this soft, what do they call it? A soft power look, which is kind of, it was masculine wear, like, like uh, suits and stuff for women, except it was slouchy and soft. So it had a feminine, sort of look to it. I don't know how I feel about that in particular. Like I understand, like I love the idea of wearing menswear because I love menswear, but I like it when it's fitted because I think there's power in something that's fitted and loose clothing to me just doesn't feel tailored or smart. And I don't mean smart like brain smart. I mean like the way when something looks smart, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's, that's just my opinion. I like things to be, well, obviously, I like things to be tight and fitted and tailored. Uh, I just think it looks that much more expensive and that sort of thing. But I also think that the whole idea of the soft power feminine power um, I comes from the hope that America will do what is right for this country. I'm just saying, we need a little femme power, if you know what I mean. 
Anyway, I hope you had an amazing day. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to be the most popular spring fashion look, maybe for you or just in general. And yeah, uh, definitely embellishments for me, obviously, because that's just generally how I live my life. I might want to integrate a little suede. That would be fun. Pastel suede if I could find it. Um, obviously, the lingerie is definitely something I'm already doing and love. Statement necklace, done. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think is going to be your favorite or what you want to integrate into your outfits for this coming spring. And yeah, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't believe how fast we're growing. It is wild. Tomorrow, we have a really fun makeup look, but it's only half of my costumes makeup look. And it is a clue into what I will be wearing for Halloween. So stay tuned for that. See if you can figure it out. And after that, we have a lookbook. So, and then we have a bunch of desserts that we're going to make that are Halloween inspired. It's going to be a great week. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Until next time.